You are Old Dominion defensive end Derek Wilder and your dad is the coach. It's a unique experience. Welcome. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Thank you. Were you out of your mind when you decided to play <laughs> college football for your father? I mean, talk about the pressure. Yeah, definitely. Um, reconsidered it a few times, but <laughs> I don't know, it has a lot, of, a lot more benefits than it does you know, negatives in my opinion. Now, Derek played at high school at nearby Maury High mm. School in Norfolk. Dad, when did you come to the conclusion that he was a D1 player? I thought in sixth grade when I watched him play <laughs> middle school football, he was playing fullback and linebacker. I, I knew he would develop into that. He's always been a good football player. He's always understood the game. He's been around it his whole life. He pays attention, but he just kept getting better and better. And really when it happened in high school, Bruce was his junior year. He had a game um, at Norcom that was really impressive at tight end. That linebacker helped his team pull off an upset. And I, I knew at that time he was he was going to be a good Division One player. Derek, there's a lot of egos in college football. How did you find that your teammates accepted you knowing that your dad was the coach? Was it any different? Yeah, initially that first semester I came in because I enrolled in early in January. So I came in and it was straight into winter workouts and spring ball. And at that time, I knew that I just had to put my head down and just, you know, bust my tail and show them that I wasn't any different than the rest of the guys on the team. And there were a lot of seniors at that time, seniors, juniors, like TJ Ricks, Anthony Wilson, Cole Adams Hurt, that just kind of, you know, made it clear amongst everybody in the locker room that I wasn't anybody different from the rest of the guys on the team. All right. Your younger brother, Drew, is an outstanding offensive lineman at Jamestown. I hear he's going to Navy. Is that true, Coach? He is. Yeah, we're yeah. both pretty excited about All right. that. <laughs> Did you talk him out of playing for your dad? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have to do any talking. He just, he just knew. <laughs> oh, did you tell him about, come on, man, do yourself a favor. Go yeah. somewhere else. Don't put up with this. Yeah. No. <laughs> did you – Did did do you guys talk a little bit about football? I mean, were you sort of like a mentor to him? Um, a little bit. I mean, it was a little different where, you know, at the time he was playing O-line, D-line, and I was playing, you know, linebacker, tight end. So he always wanted to, you know, be that tight end, but eventually he just realized that he would have been – he'll have more success playing O-line. And – you, Did know, you push him guy, around a lot yeah, and say, yeah, hey, yeah. kid, this is what it's going <laughs> to exactly. be like. You're going to be you're going yeah. up against guys like me. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty much how it was. And, I mean, he just, you know, had – that's just where he fits. And I think he under, he definitely understands that now. But when he first started playing high school ball, he wanted to be the tight end. You know, he wanted to be the quarterback. He wanted to be the guy with the ball. But they said, no, you're the biggest kid on the team. You're going to block. And I keep telling him. he put on 60 pounds his first yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now he's blocking yeah. you. You better watch him Thanksgiving dinner. You know, I got two sons. I can't imagine how great it would be for me. I keep telling my kids, I'm going to come and live with you when you go to college. And they're going, no, you stay away, Dad. It's a father's dream come true. It is. And, and just seeing him grow and develop and what he's done Academically also, Bruce, he's got two undergraduate degrees in our business school, which is a really tough school. He's in a master's program right now. He's starting at the end. He's a captain. He's second on the team in sacks. He does everything the right way. And being able to see him every day, be around him every day, just watch him at practice, see him interact, it's, it's been a dream come true and something I'll always cherish. All right, a great Thanksgiving story. Happy holidays to you guys. Thank you. Bruce. Quarterback Hayden Wolf has done a great job facing defenses, but can he handle Nathan Epstein and the one-minute drill? That's next on the Old Dominion yep. Football Show. Welcome back to the Old Dominion Football Show. We're here with the quarterback, Hayden Wolf. And Hayden, first of all, I got to ask, from Florida to Virginia, how's the weather treating you? It's different, a little bit cold, but I'm getting used to it every day. What is your best pump-up song that you listen to before a football game? I listen to a lot of Kodak. Being from Florida, he's big down there. Um, anything Kodak I listen to. Do you still, every now and then, ever play the old NCAA football game? Not really, no. I'm not a big video game guy. I wish I was, but... I'm not very good with the control. Not a video game guy, so what do you do instead? What, what replaces a video game? Uh, up in college, study, eat, sleep, rest, recover. Um, everything, everything that everybody else does, that's an athlete. What do you do for fun? Hang out with my friends, go to the beach. I love the beach. Um, I'd rather be there than anywhere else on the, besides the football field. So I go to the beach a lot, I go hunting, fishing with my dad. Ever go surfing? I've never been surfing, but I've been skimboarding multiple times. I know how to skimboard. A little bit different. It's not actually riding the waves, but I do know how to do that. If you had one meal you could choose, what would it be? Um, my dad's steak, mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, 
some strawberries. What's better, pumping up the home crowd or silencing the road crowd? Silencing the road crowd. Being a freshman in a fun way, have the guys ever picked on you at all? Oh yeah, it happens every day. Coach Wickham gives me gives me crap all the time, and all the guy, all the other quarterbacks they build on that. But it is what it is. I have a good heart. I, I often give it back to him too. All right, Hayden Wolf, he's the quarterback here at Old Dominion, joining us for the one minute drill here on the Old Dominion Football Show. Show Hayden, want to do me a favor and say goodbye to the Monarch Nation. Goodbye, Monarch Nation. Bruce Rader along with Coach Bobby Wilder. Coach, you wrap up the season Saturday at home against Charlotte, and they're really the hottest team in Conference USA right now. They are. They've won four games in a row, Bruce, including this past week beating Marshall at home. Who Marshall was in first place in the league. And, and what's happened for them, Bruce, it's, it's the quarterback position. It's Chris Reynolds. Uh, he rushed the ball 25 times for 150 yards in this game. He's a candidate for the Offensive Player of the Year. Then on defense, they've got Alex Highsmith, who leads the league in sacks with 10 and a half, who's a candidate for Defensive Player of the Year. So a couple of key players have been standouts and played good football for them. And they were able to sidestep the injury bug. They have. They've stayed healthy this year, and that's been a big thing. Generally, at this time of the year, the healthy teams are the ones like Charlotte and Florida Atlantic that are making a run at the title. I know Senior Day is a very emotional day for you. You've been mm -hmm. with these kids for sometimes five years. Yeah, we've got 12 seniors, and, and there's a number of them that have played significant amount of football for us. It's a small senior class, Bruce, but a really good group and, and really proud of them. And the fact they're all going to graduate is really important. All right, you talk about the team's bright future, and I know that you assume you're going to be a part of it. Yeah, that's that's the goal, Bruce. And I, I look at this team coming back next year. We've got 19 of 22 starters back. We've got 48 players that have started, 48 different starting combinations due to injuries. That's the most in the country of starters. I truly believe next year with this team, with the quarterback, we've got a top 50 defense right now. We'll be even better next year. That this team next year, Bruce, will be a bold team. And if we can be healthy at this time of year, I truly believe we'll compete for the Conference USA Championship next year. And on top of that, you recruit all the next few months. Absolutely. That's, you can see the significance this year, 47 new players that we're in. We'll have another big number that will come in this year. I feel really good about the prospects of next year's team. Coach, it's been a challenging season. Yes, it has. But happy Thanksgiving. And same to you, and happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. The final game, Old Dominion against Charlotte, 2 o'clock Saturday at SB Ballard Stadium. Let's get a big crowd out there for senior day. And uh, happy Thanksgiving to everyone, Coach. Good luck on Saturday. Thank you, Bruce. Appreciate it. Good night, everybody.